Welcome back everyone to another Fallout 76 mission guide. So today we're here to talk about one of the daily missions. It's called Period with Honor and you can get it in the north part of the map. All you have to do is to come near the cemetery. It's a civil cemetery and it's a very interesting area. So it's right here, underneath the palace, so if you have anywhere uh, around it discovered, you just have to walk. If not, then it will be a very long walk. Anyway, um, this is an area where you can find very beautiful and interesting outfits, at least four of them, and this is a fairly easy mission to do. Apart from the very ending, which can be a bit tricky, but other than that, you should have no major issue to complete this mission. And once the daily pops up in your screen, you will receive an update to go even more north, and you need to talk to the creator. Now, keep in mind if you want to get the costumes, you need to go to the graveyard now or later, and you will have to clear the place. There are mutants, um, animals, beasts, uh, I believe it can change too, depending when you visit the place. So be aware um, of the dangers, but they are quite low level so you should have no issue killing them. Anyway, the costumes are inside, there are at least four of them. and. They are pretty decent looking, I would say. Don't forget to open uh, each furniture because they are closed and there are buttons around to open them. But before, you need to clear the place as I said before. This is not part of the mission, but it's a very helpful information, so I decided to include it anyway. As you can see, the costumes are all here. They are also in the next levels. There are guns, there are some pocket watches, and then you can find some outfits as well. Anyway, let's move to the focus of the mission. So from here, you just have to go north. It's very short walking and you will soon find the robot that you have to talk to. From one point to the other, you shouldn't find much of an issue. It's a forest area. There are hardly any enemies left or around it. At least I didn't encounter any during my journey. But who knows, maybe you will find some. After all, Fallout 76 is a bit unpredictable when it comes to enemy types in most places. You will also unlock an event when you come to this area, but I did not do it. Because the focus here was this daily mission. Now, when you talk to the robot, he's just uh, below us, near this house. He will talk for a little bit, but soon a new update will come. And it asks you to collect the remains in a location nearby, which is just um, on the top of the mountain. To the southeast, to be more precise. And in this part you should be careful because there are a lot of enemies, especially robots. Don't worry, they are not too high level, but if you are doing this at a low level then you should be uh, careful because you might end up dying if you are not careful enough. So um, there are also some ally robots around. You can use that to your adventures if you want but just be prepared to fight many enemies at once. So you can go ahead to the next mission point, which is there. 
And as I said, you need to go up the hill. And it might happen to you that robots just spawn in your face, like this. <laughs> But don't you worry, there are more up there where we have to go, so feel free to go there. Just keep in mind you have to go upwards. So whenever you find a way to keep going up, that's where you have to go. But not these stairs. These ones though are useful. And here is the entrance and it's filled with robots again. And if you are like me, you will end up um, finding them fighting each other. But once you engage, they will change all their focus to you. And that's about it. Now you can go and collect bone remains, which is in this house. And that's it. Now you have to go back to the graveyard where I showed you how to get the costumes. You need to go back there. You can either TP or walk a little bit since it's very close. It's a chance to save some caps if you are a little bit short on caps and now this is the tricky part because you need to equip a shovel to bury the remains my first thought was to check around the graveyard because there has to be or should be a shovel around however I wasn't too successful at first but we insisted, I was doing this with a friend, and we checked basically every graveyard and it figures the shovel was right near the mission point. It was in the next grave, literally. As you can see, we have to work on this one, the first one, and the shovel was in the second one, here. It's quite hidden and it's very easy to miss, so that's why I said this is a tricky part. If you are doing this in a party, your friend can pick it up, then finishes his mission, then he drops the shovel, you can pick it up and you can finish yours. So that's also a very helpful information to know. Just don't forget to equip the shovel once you get it. And if you are like me, where your mission just disappeared from your log, don't forget to go back to your data and to activate the mission so you are able to click on the ground to proceed with the mission update. Otherwise you won't be able to do it because as you can see it's like I have no mission. But if you go back and you select a daily then it appears again and uh, you can click on it now. That's it, now you can fill the grave with your shovel equipped and your daily is now done. You get your rewards and tomorrow you can do this mission again, if you want, of course. Now keep in mind that daily missions are not the same every day, but generally, like this one, the locations are quite close, but there are other missions where our locations vary quite a lot. Anyway, that's going to be all for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned. Bye bye.